Ready? Are you going? Hi right, folks, welcome to Rocks in a Box Part 1. The rocks in these boxes are igneous rocks. Okay, so here I have our handy dandy igneous rock classification chart blown up a little bit to show texture, right? Uh, one uh, important thing that we were going to try to define is whether it's phaneritic or just coarse grained. Right, okay. <laughs> phaneritic, which is coarse grained. Aphanitic, which is fine grained, or if it's a little bit of both, right? So let's take a look at, well, let's see. Let's say this rock here, right? So if we shot, turn this around, right? We see that the entire rock is pretty sparkly, right? Bryce, please don't click those. It shows up in the video. Right. Um, pretty sparkly, right? So looking at this, this is going to have entirely a solid mass of crystals, right? All sparkly and shiny, right? As opposed to this one, right? Which is all kind of dull and boring, right? Or dull and boring, right? This is an aphanitic or fine grain texture, right? And we can relate this to intrusive and extrusive, right? So these two rocks might look very similar kind of at first glance, right? But if we move this around, you'll notice all the different sparkles in there, right? Those are all different cleavage planes and mineral faces shining at you. So this is solid crystal. So this is a phaneritic or intrusive igneous rock, right? Whereas this one is aphanitic, right? Very fine grain. There's a couple of tiny little sparkles in there, but you know, pretty much kind of dull and boring, right? This is aphanitic or extrusive, right? Now let's take a look at this rock here. This is one of our porphyritic rocks. Notice as I turn this around, right? Quite a bit of it. Uh, we see there's little shiny bits in there. But then there's this this dull and boring ground mass behind it, right? That makes this one porphyritic right and now so that shows also that there's an, uh, an igneous texture um, it's an extrusive igneous texture it shows first slow cooling and then or quick cooling as if it got shot out the volcano as lava right so let's go ahead and play with these rocks right so that was important the intrusive versus extrusive or aphanitic versus phaneritic, right? The other thing that's important is color, right? So how much color is in the rock, right? So light colors are gonna be our felsic rocks, right? They're gonna have kind of intermediate colors, this one really being salt and pepper, right? Are you showing this? Okay. Being salt and pepper, right? And then dark or mafic, right? So we have felsic, intermediate, and mafic, and remember that blacks, browns, and greens, those are mafic minerals, right? And lights, pinks, clears, purple hues, blues, these are all felsic colors, right? So, now Bryce, select a random rock from this box, and let's use it and classify it, okay? All right, Bryce has selected this one, right? So let's take a look first at what we think. So I see if I turn this around, there's some little shiny, you know, black little needle looking things, right? And there's some kind of shiny little white specks, but most of this is kind of dull and boring, all right? So I would say that this is a porphyritic texture. That would make this an extrusive igneous rock. And what we're gonna do is just use the word porphyritic in front of whatever, whatever we decide to classify it as, right? Now let's look at the color, right? Do we think this is really light, really dark, or kind of somewhere in between grays or salt and pepper? I would say that this is gray, salt and pepper, right? So first we have aphanitic fine grained, right? We're gonna add that porphyritic term to the front of it. This one's gonna be kind of in intermediate. It's not dark, it's not light, right? Uh, so this will go be an andesite, right? So again, aphanitic, intermediate, right? Andesite, and then we're just gonna word, use that word porphyry in front of it. So this is a porphyritic andesite or an andesite porphyry. All right, Bryce, choose another one. 
Okay, all right. So take a look at this guy right here, right? So this one, if we turn them around, I see almost everything shiny, right? It's all solid crystals. So this is a phaneritic or intrusive igneous rock, right? Now, is this dark, is this light, or is this salt and pepper? Salt and pepper, pretty much, right? So, we're again, we're intermediate. Instead of being an andersite, because it's an intrusive igneous rock, phaneritic, right? This is a diorite. All right. Here's an interesting one I want to show you. This is one that, that will fool you. Color doesn't actually work on this one. Notice that this just looks like basically a big chunk of, you know, black glass. That's exactly what this is. This is volcanic glass. This is obsidian, right? A glassy, glassy bit, right? So what this is, is this is basically just frozen lava, frozen elements in space and time. Nobody had time to get together and make crystals. There's no crystals in here. There's just volcanic glass, right? A couple other ones that we do like that as well, right? We have uh, these. And these are very, you know, these have a, a, almost a pyroclastic texture, if you will. They've got lots of holes, fragmental, right? Uh, this one would even float on water if you stick it in some water. Um, it's very light. This one uh, is the light version or, or, or felsic version. This dark red one, the red here, if this was fresh, this would be black. But the red here is actually from those iron minerals rusting. So this is um, what's known as... Um, um, uh, uh, scoria, right? Whereas this one, the lighter, the whiter colored one, this is pumice. Right? These are again both volcanic glasses. All right. Let's use another one from here, Bryce. Okay. All right. Nice selection here. Once again, right? We have some shiny bits. We got these little pink shiny ones, right? We got these clear shiny ones. We got these kind of gray shiny ones, but most of it is dull and boring. Brush, you watch my that. Most of it is dull and boring. So again, this is a porphyritic texture, right? So now would you say that this is dark, kind of gray salt and pepper, or lights, remembering that reds, whites, and pinks are light colors? Indeed, it is a light mineral, right? So what we have here is a, a we're gonna go with a phonetic, the extrusive one, right? Uh, felsic, so we have a rhyolite, and we're going to put the term porphyritic in front of that. Okay. All right, folks, I think hopefully that gives you an idea of how to use this chart. If you have any questions, let me know.